So we've seen that we can find equivalent fractions by multiplying the numerator and the denominator of a fraction by the same number. But here we're going to use division to find equivalent fractions. So first, 6 ninths is equivalent to how many thirds? Well we can't use multiplication here because 3 is smaller than 9, but we can use division. 9 divided by 3 is 3, that's because 3 times 3 is 9, and just like when we were finding equivalent fractions by multiplying, what we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator as well. 6 divided by 3 is 2, because 2 times 3 is 6, so our missing numerator is 2. 6 ninths is equivalent to 2 thirds. And what we've done here is called simplifying the fraction. So the fraction is still equivalent, it still has the same value, but it uses smaller numbers. Now, 4 twelfths is equivalent to how many thirds? Again, we need to use division. 12 divided by 4 is 3, because 3 times 4 is 12, and again, what we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator as well, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. So 4 twelfths is equivalent, or the same, as 1 third. Now, we have 20 over 24, and we need to find an equivalent fraction which has a denominator of 6. 24 divided by 4 is 6, because 6 times 4 is 24, and again, what we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator as well. 20 divided by 4 is 5, so 20 over 24 is equivalent, or has the same value, as 5 sixths. Now here, it's the denominator that we need to find, but we follow the same steps. We can see, if we look at the numerators, 6 divided by 3 is 2, because 2 times 3 is 6, and here, what we've done to the numerator, we need to do to the denominator. 15 divided by 3 is 5, because 5 times 3 is 15, so 6 fifteenths is equivalent to 2 fifths. Now here, we have 10 over 20, and we need to find an equivalent fraction with a numerator of 1. 10 divided by 10 is 1, because whenever you divide a number by itself, you always get 1 as your answer. And here, what we've done to the numerator, we need to do to the denominator as well. 20 divided by 10 is 2, so 10 over 20 is equivalent to 1 half, or 1 over 2. Now it's important to understand that though these equivalent fractions use smaller numbers, they're not smaller. With equivalent fractions, we always get fractions which are the same size. And we can see that if we have 6 ninths, or 6 parts out of 9 shaded, that's equivalent to having 2 parts out of 3, or 2 thirds shaded. We can see also that 4 twelfths, so 4 parts out of 12, is equivalent to one third. The same amount of both fraction bars is coloured in blue. Now, 20 over 24 is equivalent to 5 sixths. 6 fifteenths is equivalent to 2 fifths. And 10 over 20, or 10 twentieths, is equivalent to 1 half. So we've used, in the previous video, multiplication, and in this video, division, to find equivalent fractions. But it's really important to understand that those are the only operations we can use. We can't use addition or subtraction when we're finding equivalent fractions. We can only use multiplication or division. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.